Hello and welcome to my studio. I'm Noemi from Pigeon Art and today we're going to be knitting. I found all this yarn in my stash from when I used to make teddy bears and I used it in my bear ear beanie video. I've got about nine of these plus a couple of smaller ones. I'm hoping to have enough to make a furry looking jumper out of it. Like I'll be a bear when I'm wearing it with my ears as well. I don't have many plans because I really don't know how much yarn I have. This has been the story of my life throughout this channel of running out of yarn. So we're going to find out how much I can actually make. Ideally, I'd like a bit of an oversized jumper with some sleeves, but I am not holding my breath. So I'm going to cast on, I think the last few I did was between 70 and 80 stitches. So I'm going to start with 70 and I'm actually, because you can't see the stitch, I'm just going to do a uh, normal garter stitch for this. So 70 stitches. So warm. I had to open the window. You probably hear the traffic more than normal. Because I needed some air. <laughs> Better start counting stitches, I guess. Two, three, four. 41. 59. 60. Alright, look. Honestly, I'm thinking that's 60. Does it normally get bigger or does it get smaller? I'm gonna go with 60 for now and see how it goes because it's never, when you cast on, I always find it's never the actual size it's going to be. I'll do a row and then we'll get an idea. Okay, so I've just done one row and I think this is gonna be enough. I will start just normal garter stitch all the way through and then I will have to see how much yarn I go through before I make any decisions on the shape and size of it. So I'll keep you guys informed but until then um, I'll just be knitting away. <laughs> So it's been a full week and this has been a bit slower just because of the extra fluff on it um, that you're trying not to knit into. This is how much I've done. And from there to there has been one ball. So I think I have enough to make a whole jumper. So that's good. So I'm gonna keep knitting and I'll keep you updated and we'll uh, see how we go. So it's a week later and I was hoping to have this done by today, but I haven't. <laughs> I have finished the back. So now I'm working on the front. Um, so I've decided I want to do a neckline a little bit like this, just maybe not as deep, but I've got some a lot of time to go before I can do that. And I'm definitely going to do sleeves uh, because there's plenty left over. Um, I only used two and a half balls of yarn and I had nine so yeah should be fine <laughs> I've been sort of forgetting to pick it up in the evenings and I'm not getting as much done as expected but that's okay with repetitive movements like this um, you do get restricted you can't just knit and knit all day every day you know it, you get sore hands so that's the other thing Saturday last week I knitted a lot trying to get this project finished um, but Got to a point where I just had to put it down, I couldn't keep going. When I'm knitting like this, my finger, this finger pushes this one in, and after a while it gets really sore. 
and then this thumb pushes that up which also gets really sore so I've made a little thimble for my thumb and my uh, index that helped when I was knitting a lot I've only been using it when I've been knitting like all day oh how weird is that this is where ah oh, this is where I started the new yarn it must have been differently here I started the new yarn right and uh, it must have had different proportions of each color because I started making this pattern, which is a bit of a pain. I hadn't even noticed it until now because the rest of it won't have a little bit of a pattern there. Oh well. And I'm actually at the point where I'm ready for to start on the neckline. So firstly, I'm gonna need to find the center and then I'm gonna start um, casting off all around that center and then I will um, start, you know, knitting two together each time I get to the center. That's what I'm gonna start doing now. I'm gonna count all the, the stitches and mark my center. I counted it and I've put my safety pin here. I will be doing a full row there. I'll stitch all the way to there or close to start un casting off and then I'll keep stitching and then I'll only be working on this side. And then uh, on the sides, normally I tend to, like I did there, sort of cast off or um, knit two together until the top, you know, to give it a bit of a shape. But this one, I want to make it straight because I think it will be easier to add sleeves if it's completely straight. And because of this fabric, we won't actually see where I added the sleeves. So I don't think that will be an issue. Okay, here, yeah, so one more and then I'll cast that off. It's actually really nice doing a knitting project where I'm not worried about running out of yarn. <laughs> this is, if you've seen any of my other knitting videos, this doesn't happen to me very often, but I still have uh, three down there. It's three full ones down there, plus one that's a little bit used up this much, this much. So yeah, should be fine. <laughs> Thank goodness. So I've got a back. And a front finished ready to go so I'm thinking I might attach the shoulders together first and then um, that'll allow me to go lay it flat so that I can uh, start knitting straight onto the piece the sleeves and possibly also the neckline I've got plenty of this color so I'll do that So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and then we can try it on and see how it's going to look and then go with from there about with the sleeves and the neckline. So as you can see I've finished the shoulders and tried it on. So that gives me an idea of what, how long it will be. Um, I also need to just use my safety pin again and decide how far down I want the sleeves to start so I can you know work that one out while it's flat so now I've folded it in half so I can put another pin next on the same spot as on this one but on the other on the back so basically I think from here to here, I'm going to weave in some new stitches and then start knitting that way, you know, upwards. So you're not going to believe this, but it's another week later. 
and I'm still working on this project. So here we go. What am I up to, you ask? Well, I have finished one sleeve and I'm currently working on the other sleeve. So we're slowly, slowly getting there. It's really starting to look like a jumper. I'm realizing just how much I'm not picking this up in the evenings and I think it's because I'm just not enjoying working with this yarn <laughs> so it's not been the most enjoyable project for me I will be glad when it's over but you know I think it'll be a really warm piece of clothing very unusual and warm piece of clothing for me Honestly, I can't believe that I used to make teddy bears out of this because the teddy bear pattern required a lot of concentration. This doesn't require any concentration and I'm still not enjoying knitting with it. So, <laughs> but anyway, it's good. We're getting there. I am busting that stash <laughs> of this yarn and uh, I never have to knit with this again once it's gone. I will not be repurchasing it that's all I can say we're getting close to finishing this sleeve so I still need to do about from here to here I have been knitting all afternoon and I have finally got one and two two sleeves done I am ready to do this neckline and I'm hoping to get this neckline done this week so that next week all I have to do that next weekend all I have to do is sew them together. What I should have said is I am ready to be done with this. <laughs> I don't think anything I'm doing is the conventional way of doing it. <laughs> it's just the way I've worked out to do this. I'm not following any patterns. Um, I'm just teaching myself. I haven't followed a tutorial or anything. And I'm learning from my own mistakes. It's a very exciting day. I have finished my sleeves and my collar so all I need to do now is to sew these sides together and we'll be done yay Um, I've done this much in eight minutes or something, so it's going to take a while. So I'm going to keep doing that off camera and I'll be back to show you how it looks on. Check this out, guys. We have a finished jumper. It was a bit of a trial to do, but I'm glad it's over. I think it's really cute and, and look, it's definitely too hot for Australian summers. So whether that means it's warm enough for Australian winters, we'll see. I just have this one ball plus another ball left, like a full ball left of it. So I will definitely be making something else with this yarn, maybe leg warmers or hand warmers or something um, similar. And I'm definitely glad not to have nine balls left of, <laughs> of it in my yarn stash. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, feel free to give it a like. It really helps me out. I upload most Sundays with art, DIY and sewing videos. And I hope to see you then. Bye.